Hi, I'm Samia. Samia Vidyadu, basically a poet and a writer, and a part-time editor. Uh, I was born and brought up in Bangalore, and I had no restrictions from my family. My parents didn't have any restrictions on me, and I was a modern <laughs> uh, girl who went to college and uh, had fun and partied and stuff like that. What people do, what do the girls do often? But when I was married, my first marriage actually, obviously that did not work out very well. I remember one particular incident when uh, the household had a party, a small get together. Uh, the men sat totally separately and the women sat separately. The women were in the kitchen cooking and taking care of the uh, children, whereas the men were in the separate section of the house, uh, talking, gossiping, drinking, eating, whatever the women cooked. And I was a little shocked because I, this was not the way I was brought up. I was uh, brought up in a in a house where women and men are treated the same, and they all sit together and talk and have fun. It's 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 part of the culture. But this was a real, a totally new experience to me. So what I I could not go and sit with the men, so I had to sit with the women and cook and serve the men. What happens after the night has ended? The the men go back to their beds. After a drink, after a party, they all they're all drunk. What do the women do? <laughs> they only have to clean up the dishes, clean up the children, take care of the house. And as soon as the morning comes, the women, the women have to go back to their house with chores. And I had to do the same. Nobody asked me if I was sick or can you get up? No, nobody. There were there were no questions raised. I had to just go back to my cooking, serve my husband and be the good old obedient wife.